Good morning everyone, this is Doug McPhee with the Energy House. Today we're doing a standard can light retrofit to a PL direct wire or ballast bypass fixture. Now the can light is using 23, 24 watts and it's an 18 watt fixture. At about two feet, it's producing 59, 60 foot candles. As time goes on, our handy little kilowatt meter shows that we're at 25 watts, and that'll continue to go up to about 26 watts. That's all because the ballast starts heating up and using more and more power. So we just have a temporary hook up here and we're going to take that off and I'll show you how to bypass the ballast. It's very easy. This is a standard can fixture. It has a uh, quad tube in it. It's very hot. You can see by the discoloration how much heat this is putting out. Think of how much air conditioning you have to supply to overcome every one of these in your office and a lot of times there's two of them in here. This is our ballast, just 120 volt. There's a little pop off right here. Opens up. So here's our incoming wire. Here's our ballast. All we're going to do is bypass it. Before we bypass the ballast, I'm going to show you that our tube that we use, LED, is capable of doing plug and play, so you can just pull out your old PL and plug in a new tube, or you can get rid of the ballast that you know is going to fail and have a 50,000 hour lamp that you don't have to worry about that's instant on. That's how simple it is. We also have a BR standard light, just doesn't have the screw in end on it, it has the plug end. That's how easy it is. It looks beautiful. Now remember, this is just a demonstration light. So normally you'd have your BX coming through one of these, and here's your ballast. Here's the light. So to open it up, there's just a little spring clip. Off it comes. And there are all your wires. Here are your incoming, standard black and white. And then our ties into the socket in here. Reds are hot, blues are neutral on this particular light. All we do is unscrew them. So we have our ballast off. The wires are just, you can either clip them and restrip them or cut them off here and because we're going to reuse this plate at some point. Again, this is just a demonstration model. Blue is neutral on this particular light. Red is hot. Your conversion is done. It's that simple. Wires go back into the housing. The plate will cover it. It gets grounded. One of the lights I forgot to show you before was our horizontal down light. Rotates. But again, it's just a simple plug and play now. Where before we were at 26 watts, we're now at 11 watts with no ballast to fail.
that's a 60% reduction in power not counting the tube will last for 50,000 hours versus 10,000 hours the light output will stay the same the ballast won't fail there'll be no need to call an electrician when the ballast fails every several years there's about 8,500 hours in a year divided by 50,000 hours you have quite an extended lifespan on this light producing almost no heat. Our original light produced 36 foot candles. This is producing 70 foot candles. 74. That's with our quad tube. 